can of raisins on my desk. I'm going to be nice and not eat any. I just wanted to open it. Medicats Tournament Edition Arcade Fight Stick. Ooh, it's nice looking. I don't use sticks. I'm okay on stick. I used to be absolutely trash on stick. I'm still worse. But I'm okay. There are some things I'm better at. I'm actually probably a better guile player on stick than pad. Because I can do his uh, neat stuff more consistently on stick. Such as Flash Kick F80 C Ultra. I'm like I'm like fifty percent on pad at best. On stick I'm very close to a hundred percent. I just get it all the time. Depends on the character. It's really picky on some characters. You have to do a really late dash and an immediate uh, ultra. I think this matchup is won primarily through air throw. For Gal. Not for Kami. Kami does her normal thing and it works particularly well against Gal. This is another matchup where I feel like um, uh, Gal folds the way that he normally folds up close. I mean, I don't think Gal normally EX boom. No, he didn't want to. He's saving the meter. Um, Gal folds the way he normally folds up close, but he doesn't have an easy time like he normally does keeping Kemi out. He has an okay time keeping Kemi out. It's not free for Kemi to get in. It's definitely not free for Kemi to get in. That was nice. But like, the the ease of Kami getting in overwhelms the, like, the damage Kami does when she gets in, and the damage Gael does keeping Kami out do not equal each other. Kami out damages Gael in their respective ideal areas of footsies. Anyway, you can actually anti that kind of jump and that kind of dive kick with a jump air throw from Gao. Maybe not that one, that one was pretty low. But like, air throw has a surprising ability to anti air in this matchup. Like that, that could have been air thrown if Dominion was actually looking for it. And that, like a lot of, there was some Gao, I forget who. It actually might have been Dominion. Um. Oh, that shouldn't have hit. That was like the game. <laughs> this, that should have been... I don't know. It should have just been blocked, I guess. anti is really risky there, because it could have been a dive kick. That's a good air throw. There's another good air throw. Wow. How about that? Fierce, fierce. I wish I could put this on YouTube, but I'm never going to be able to put this on YouTube. This is arts footage. Dang, that was just what he needed. That was super optimized. Far stand fierce combos to red focus, but close stand fierce doesn't. The plight of Kami. You have to do fierce fierce in order to red focus, which is fine because it does more damage anyway. But it's not fine because you have to add one frame lengths to get red focus combos. You can red focus from first hit of drill. But um, it's terrible damage optimization. It does 40 damage for first hit of drill. That minion's starting to rock those air throws and he's getting a lot of damage off of it. I caught a backdash. K Brad has a bit of the same thing Chris G has. What the fuck that traded? Stay around house and like a super high dive kick. Where um, K Brad is sort of unafraid to walk in. And he'll walk in after a backdash and stuff like that and get a bigger punish than most people will. He's willing to make the reads with a forward walk. Unafraid of throw. Unafraid of reversals. 
Most people are unwilling to make that read. Ooh, that was nice. Dang. A nice punish, I guess. I like the way Gal works. I don't know what I would do to change him. Probably nothing. I feel like he doesn't have any criminally good or bad matchups at this point. If there's ever a rebalance, I'd probably have extremely minor fixes for Guile. If they asked me, which they wouldn't. I kind of want an FADC-able um, low forward, because I think he still doesn't have one of those. That sounds really pointless, but you can use it to... It's kind of like focus bait. You'd be able to reaction save yourself from focuses, and then get like a towards fear swift punish. If they released the focus... So instead of them punishing you with a focus, you'd punish them for focusing, but only if you had two bars. I feel like that would change almost no like I feel like that would that would change his matchups almost not at all. I don't think a single matchup would change even point one. But it would just be something fun to play around with. Ooh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's the exactly the kind of air throw that I think is really strong in this matchup. And that's like that kills Kami's approach somewhat. That's why I think Kami's approach isn't that free, because she can't just jump and dive kick. It's not that good because of shit like that. He tried to do it there and he actually got stuffed. That was like a flash kick. If he wasn't committed to that normal, he could have jumped in her throne there. This kills. Shame. Maybe I could cut this down really fine. Maybe I could just like put like uh, analyzing match versus match. Character versus character. And then maybe I wouldn't get in trouble. I wonder what Ultra, Ultra Chen does. I wonder how they get permission for the matches they analyze. Ooh, that was a, maybe a punish because of how high that dive kick was. Cute combo. Ooh, Kami's low short, low profiles. That's really frustrating for Gal. I didn't know she was one of those characters. Any character with a crouch deck that low profiles is quite difficult for Gal to use that upside down kick on. That's probably not a punish. Nice. That was way better than blocking. I think Gal's ultra is only like minus five or something. It's like not terribly unsafe. Especially if you consider, like, if it's done meaty or if it's done from far away, it becomes nearly impossible to punish. Or outright impossible. That far fierce anti air just a second ago was kind of sexy. Big combo? I mean, Gal doesn't really have big combos. Why no sound? from the game I hope you mean from the game yeah my mic's working because I'm rebroadcasting I've never gotten into trouble from rebroadcasting before I'm not even sure it's express expressly against the rules I mean, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, because it's like an archive. I don't think it's... A, like, I think the rules say don't rebroadcast an existing stream. I don't know. I'm going to wait until I get told off, though. I don't think it's going to be like a one-strike-you're-out kind of thing. 
And if I ever get told off, I'm just going to be like, okay, it'll never happen again. And that'll be that. Worst case scenario, I make Befail 1. And set up Befail. And broadcast on that. 